In this video, we are going to take a look at some special right triangles. The first one we're going to look at is a 45-45 triangle. What that means is this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees. I would like to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of 45 degrees. Now in order to do that, I'm going to have to have some side lengths on here. Now, because we have a 45-45 right triangle, that means it's isosceles, and the opposite sides from each angle have to be the same length. So I can put whatever I want to in there. I think what I'll do is, for simplicity's sake, I'll say this side is one and this side is one. And let's calculate what the hypotenuse H would be. So if I take leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. I've got one plus one equals h squared. That means h squared is two and h equals the square root of two. So I'm gonna go back over to my triangle and say that h equals the square root of two. So now let's see what that does to our trig functions. I'm gonna find the sine of 45 degrees we know that that's opposite over hypotenuse. So when I look at my triangle, for 45 degrees, opposite is one, hypotenuse is radical two. So I have got one over radical two. Now I have to rationalize that, so I have to multiply by radical two over radical two, and that's gonna give me radical two over two for the sine of 45 degrees. Now if I look at the cosine of 45 degrees, that would be adjacent over hypotenuse. But look what happens. If I'm looking at that same angle, the adjacent is also one. So I have one over radical two. And one over radical two, we just showed before, is the same as radical two over two. And then the last one is tangent. So the tangent of 45 degrees is opposite over adjacent. So when I look at my triangle for 45 degrees, opposite over adjacent is going to be one over one, which is just one. So the sine of 45 and the cosine of 45 are both radical two over two, and the tangent of 45 is one. Before moving on, I wanna quickly show you that it doesn't have to be a triangle with sides of length one. So let's just put on another number randomly, let's say this side is three and this side is three. Then to find the hypotenuse, we would say leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So nine plus nine is h squared. h squared equals 18. And then when I take the square root of both sides, I have to uh, simplify this radical and I get h equals three radical two. Okay. And now let's just do one of the trig functions. Let's do the sine. The sine of 45 degrees, which we know is opposite over hypotenuse. And that would be the side opposite, which is three, over the hypotenuse, which is three radical two. So I get three over three radical two. The threes cancel. And I get one over radical two, which is what we got last time before we rationalized and multiplied, and our answer turns out still to be radical two over two. So in summary, here are the trig functions for 45 degrees, sine, cosine, and tangent. Radical two over two, radical two over two, and one. We will use those values a lot as we look at our trig problems moving forward. For any 45-45 right triangle, the hypotenuse will always be radical two times one of the legs. So for example, in this triangle down here, the two legs are three, which means that the hypotenuse is going to be three radical two. In this one over here, the two legs are seven, so my hypotenuse is going to be seven radical two. That relationship will always happen as long as it is a 45-45 degree right triangle. A 30-60 triangle starts 
from an equilateral triangle, which is 60, 60, and 60. And if we cut that in half, then this 60 degree angle is 30 and 30. Now what I'm interested in is this triangle right here. So let's, uh, let's back up to the equilateral triangle and put on some measurements. So um, let's say that it's two, two, and two. It doesn't matter what numbers I pick as long as I put the same number on all three sides. So now moving over to the next triangle, that would make this a two, and this would be a one because it's two all the way across, but I'm only interested in half that length, so that would be a one. So then my question would be, what is this length right there? Well, that's a right triangle, so let's do Pythagorean theorem. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So x squared plus one equals four. I'm gonna subtract one from both sides, and I get x squared equals three, which means x equals radical three. So I can come over here and put radical three right there. Okay, let's look at the trig functions for the 30 degree and the 60 degree angles. So let's start with the 30 degree angle. The sine of 30 degrees is the opposite over hypotenuse. Here's 30, opposite is one, hypotenuse is two. So it's one over two or one half. Next, let's look at cosine. That's adjacent over hypotenuse. For the 30 degree angle, the adjacent is radical three, the hypotenuse is two. So that would be radical three over two. And then for the tangent, that's opposite over adjacent. So for the 30 degree angle, opposite over adjacent is one over radical three. Now one over radical three is gonna need to be rationalized. So I'll multiply by radical three over radical three and I get radical three over three. Okay, let's look at the values for the 60 degree angle. So the sine of 60 is opposite over our hypotenuse. Now here's the 60 degree angle. Opposite is radical three, hypotenuse is two. So radical three over two. Next for cosine, I've got adjacent over hypotenuse. Here's my 60 degree angle. This is the adjacent. This is the hypotenuse. So I get one over two, which is one half. And then for the tangent, that's opposite over adjacent. For the 60 degree angle, the opposite is radical three. The adjacent is one. So I get radical three over one, which is just radical three. So notice that these are the same and these are the same because we've talked about that relationship before. We talked about how the sine of one angle is the same as the cosine of its uh, complementary angle. Since 60 and 30 are complementary, those two numbers would be the same and these two numbers would be the same because they have the same numbers just in different locations. So here's the summary for the 30 and 60 degree angles. The sine is one half, cosine is radical three over two, tangent is radical three over three. Then for sine of 60, it's radical three over two, the cosine of 60 is one half, and the tangent of 60 is radical three over one. In any 30, 60, right triangle, the shorter leg is always half the hypotenuse and the longer leg is always radical three times the shorter leg. So if this is the hypotenuse, the shorter leg is always half of that because remember it came from an equilateral triangle. And then the, the longer leg is radical three times the shorter leg. So let's look at a couple examples here. In this triangle, so if the hypotenuse is six, then the shorter leg is half of that. It would be three. And the longer leg is radical three times the shorter leg. And then in this one over here, in this case, I'm told that the shorter leg is five, 
which means the hypotenuse must be twice that, or 10. And then the longer leg is radical 3 times the shorter leg, so that would be 5 radical 3. Now you can always use the Pythagorean theorem to find missing side lengths in a right triangle, but you can also use these shortcuts.